Solving Diophantine equations. Get inspired. All right. A Diophantine equation is an equation where the solutions have to be integer values. Oftentimes in math counts, you're asked to find solutions that are integer values, oftentimes positive integer values. So I'm going to give you some examples of how to use your calculator to solve some of these. Um, you can, there's other ways, there's algebraic methods too. Um, usually take a little bit longer. So if you, if you have a calculator and you know how to use it, it can be quite helpful. So let's go to menu and let's start with the calculator. Um, so one type of equation that they might ask is they say, all right, well, let's say you have 21x plus 33y equals 375. Find a positive or a pair of positive um, solutions for x and y to make this a true statement. A lot of people might guess and check or there's other methods you can do. But um, I'm going to show you, again, one way to do it on the calculator. And so what I'm going to do is I want to solve this in terms of y. So I'm going to scroll back over here and type in solve this equation. Now you have to do comma y because you want to solve it in terms of y. But now I have basically a function right there. Now I want to store that as my f1 of x. So how you do that is you type in f1 of x and then Right next to the, or right above the magic button, there's that little colon equals. So you get control colon equals, and this isn't this is one way of doing it. Kind of, I think it's probably the fastest way, just to hit and just hit control answers. Pull this previous answer down. It will pull the y equals down as well as you'll see in a second. So when I hit enter, see it's got the y equals in there. I don't really want the y equals in there. You can still do it with that, but I just don't like the way it looks. So I'm going to actually go back up, just scroll up hit enter, and then you can just scroll over to get rid of the y equals, All right? And you hit enter, and now you actually have a nice function in your F1. Now what we can do is I'm gonna go over to my graphing menu so that I can open up a table. Um, so I'm gonna go to graph, and then if I, go, if I scroll up, so you just go up, because I see have, this is F2, I want F1. There's my F1. Hit enter and it graphs it for you. You can't see it all that well, uh, but that doesn't matter. We don't really need to see it. We want to see the table of values. We don't want to actually see the graph. So you're going to hit control T is a shortcut to open up your table of values. And now this for these are will just give you whole number of values of X. So you just have to scroll down until you get a, a positive integer value for Y. And Wait for it, there it is. So when X is 10, Y is five, you have your solution, you are done. Let's do another one. All right, let us go back to, um, I'm gonna hit control, this arrow guy, it'll bring you back to this one. So now um, here's another equation that you oftentimes see them where your, um, your variables in your denominator. So it might be like one over X plus one over Y, equals 5, 12. So they might say, all right, find all positive um, pairs or how many positive pairs of solutions are there um, for x, y that, that make this a true statement. So again, we're going to solve this in terms of y. y. There it is. I want to store that. Let's store that as f2 of x. So you do f2 of x. You control magic button this thing. And then you would do control answer. Well, that's not it. Control answer. There it is. Again, scroll up to grab it and enter and go get rid of your y equals. Now it's in my F2. I'm going to open a whole different graph just to make it, I think it's a little, look, look, look a little cleaner. Open a new graph. Uh, this is F3. I want F2. So you go up to F2. There it is. Hit enter. There's what your graph looks like. Again, you don't care about the graph. You want the table. Control T to find your table. Control T. There's your table. And then you just have to scroll down. Scroll down until you find some values that work. We just want positive values. So 3 and 12. 1 third and 1 twelfth would give that to you. Uh, 4 and 6. And is that it? No, there should be more because the opposites will also be true. One sixth and one fourth. 
and one twelfth and one third, and that's it. So there's four different um, pairs, if they were ordered pairs, that would work for you for this. And that's it, I guess it is time to go charge up my calculator. Bye.